How's it going everybody? Today I wanted to tell you about the best Raptor 700 gearing calculator that you can use, how to use it, um, and and some changes you can make. This is the best gearing calculator i found. So on the Google homepage, type in Raptor 700 gearing calculator and press enter. And up top here, you're going to see this site, NVMYZ28. If you click on that, um, somebody back when built this calculator out and uh, and it works out really well. So what you can do on this calculator versus other calculators is you can change the gear ratios. Um, I use this calculator because my I have a fourth gear that's a different ratio and it's a lot easier to calculate out those changes. See what RPM you can run, what mile an hour you can run. Um, these are the standard gear ratios that are listed here and you can change RPM limit as well. And then down below there is a gearing chart so you can see uh, what the gear ratio is in each gear as well as a spread chart with uh, tire sizes. But basically come up here, this is your standard gear set. So at red line on stock tire, stock gearing, that's roughly geared for 95 miles an hour. Uh, six, the sixth gear is uh, reverse gear. So you don't really need to pay attention to that, but that's why it does say six gear right there. But, um, what you can do here is, like on a lot of my motors, I rev them to 10,000 RPM. So at 10,000 RPM, we're picking up another 10 mile an hour on the same gearing, same same tire, everything else. You can come up here and change uh, to a 15 tooth and recalculate. Some of the guys running the street, this is real important to, uh, to look at and figure out. You can kind of see what your competition's doing by what RPM you suspect they're turning versus uh, what gear and tire diameter they're running. So um, this gives you a little insight there in fifth gear, 10,000 RPM. You're looking at 113 mile an hour on a 20 inch tire, 15.38. Uh, pretty standard gearing. A lot of these guys are running 16 range and they're running a 19 inch tire somewhere in there. So if you look at competition's bike and you say, okay, that guy's not really turning uh, a whole lot of RPM on the engine as far as it sounds like it's turning 9,000 or 8,500, someone there can come into this calculator and see, well, that guy's geared for 103 mile an hour. Um, you can kind of see what your competition, where they're at by hearing and learning uh, uh, what they're doing on, uh, on tire. Now on the, uh, I'm gonna set this back to kind of what we're doing on the heel. Uh, we're running about 15, uh, 40, say 43, running a 81, 82 rollout. So we'll go to a uh, 25 there, that's a short end. So on an EFI bike, that's normally turning uh, Normally turning 9,000 RPM, calculate that out at about 90 mile an hour. Out on the sand, you do get some some slip there, so there is some losses, and this would be at the rev limiter um, at 9,000 RPM. But what, what we've done on our fourth gear close ratio for the guys running sand is we're running a 1.19 gear ratio. So watch this number here. Basically, only changed fourth gear and it changes to 86 miles an hour from 91. So that's a five mile an hour change there by changing that gear um, where this bike is going to rev much higher at, at the same mile an hour. So to change that, let's see if I bump this to 10,000. Let's try to get this number up to 91. We'll see where um, let's try 9,600. So it'd be 9,500. 
So basically a 500 RPM change in where that engine's revving, making that fourth gear ratio closer. Um, call it a close ratio fourth gear or the 1.19 fourth gear ratio. So picking up a 500 RPM. And why that matters is when you shift gears from third to fourth, fourth is pretty tall. So you're, you're losing, uh, you're losing a lot of RPM on the shift and this gear ratio versus the stock gear ratio lets you come into fourth gear 500 RPM higher, which is a, which is a substantial change in what you're doing. So check out this site. I don't own this site. Um, I've used it for a long time and it's been very helpful and uh, I appreciate whoever built this uh, gearing calculator. This does say 06 through 2009. Uh, so I suspect somewhere in 2009 this calculator was generated, um, but uh, it is relevant and current all the way to uh, the 2018 models. So check it out, get used to this, and uh, and use it on a day to day. You you will see some slippage, some variation there. Um, it does help to uh, figure out the uh, the overall diameter of the tire, not just based off of 20 or 21 or 18, but to actual uh, measure around the tire and uh, find out that uh, that diameter, <laughs> calculate it out, see exactly exactly where you're at, because that number does, does change. But this will uh, give you a good, a good idea. I've got a lot of calls lately about what's the best gear ratio to run for a certain application. Um, and that is all gonna be trial and error based off of what the bike is, rider weight, power, and the um, and the location you're using it. So too much to go into there, but this is a calculator, calculator I, I like to use. And um, there you go, thank you.